So I'm so darn pumped about the Sammy Project. So here's a man who fought for civil rights, who fought to bring equality, justice to, to a situation where it's downright horrible. Um, man who ended up giving his life for a dream. I guess we'll put a little bit of Martin Luther King, I have a dream. I don't know a whole lot about that speech, but I know it's to, to not be oppressed, to have the opportunity, to everyone the same opportunity as everyone else. And I hope that that is being achieved. Um, when I look around Tuskegee, I see that there was a golden era. I see the old houses, the, particularly for their era, were absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, there was an era, I'm going to guess in the 50s or 60s, when, um, I'm just guessing, I don't know all these dates and everything, but things were, were moving up. Um, education was, was valued and aspirations were able to be dreamed. Um, and you begin to see that in the architecture around Tuskegee, and then I, I remember driving through Tuskegee, I think on my way to Auburn for the first time in like 1987, and seeing the buildings. They were just starting to run down. And then it goes down and down and down until unfortunately there's so much rubble. And as a white dude, maybe I'm a little bit afraid to say this, but it's just representative of a culture. Um, is it representative of what has happened to culture and why? Here, here, black culture was at the beginning of moving up for everything that Martin Luther King and all those guys fought for. And then, boom, what happened? But that dream used to come alive again. Um, and I love to see that dream begin to be kindled in Tuskegee. I call it the Tuskegee Revolution. Um, the beginning of an era where education is valued, family is valued, um, the, the, the role of, of father and mother in a family is valued, and character and godliness, all of those things are, are again, part of that strong family unit, that strong culture. Bring the family together, let the family be united, and you have a team that is unstoppable. You have a team where mom is nurturing the kids, and dad is making a living, and dad is showing an example of what hard work is. Whether, whether it's hard work cutting grass, and that's as far as that career goes, or if it's hard work aspiring to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, businessman and, and there's that continued aspiration but those are things that need to that all start in the family you can't nurture kids you can't build the next generation without a family and that's where it begins i know in part of my idea we got the sammy zone we've got the areas where there's the, the lives that sammy influenced and where, where have those lives where have they gone to and then from there, I guess, Sammy's first generation of disciples, I don't know, <laughs> but, but people, how their lives affect other people? And then the last circle, the top circle, what's the dream? What, what kind of things should be recognized? Everything from the, from the guy who got his PhD to the, the, couple that stayed together for 50 years, raised five kids, and those kids have gone on to live honorable, amazing lives. Um, you know, that, that's, that should be on that wall. It doesn't just have to be someone who went to the moon. It could be a, a, a husband and wife that stuck it together through thick and thin, raised amazing kids, That's where, that's where the Tuskegee Revolution starts. It starts in the family. And, and on the circle of recognition, it's, um, it's everything from 
sports accomplishments and educational accomplishments to, to Wilma and Edna who were married for 60 years and loved their kids. And maybe the greatest thing they did was can vegetables and white floors at a janitor, but they lived honorable lives. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what's most important. It's about character. That's what I would put in that, um, that highest circle. So anyhow, those are my thoughts on the Sammy Project. Um, and I have so many other little things, like if we could collect little tokens of these people's lives, um, talk about why they're meaningful, oh, that the trail leading to those different places could be such a fascinating, um, such a fascinating little trail to take. Um, it can be more than plants, but it can be uh, the beginning of what I would call the Tuskegee Revolution.